Oh my god, I'm so excited. I reached my goal of 100 subscribers. This is like the milestone that I set myself at the start of the year. I generally don't set goals because I don't like not meeting them, which I know is not a good attitude. But oh my god, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, mystery subscribers. I'm so grateful for your support with the mystery. I'm gonna put something like extra in the September mystery as a little thank you. I do seem to just be showing you my screen a lot today, but I did have a comment in last week's vlog asking me how I make my stickers. So I thought I would kind of do like a more in depth, not tutorial, but just like explain what goes into it. So first I will purchase some clip art. This is from Kitnish Girl. I got her new um, autumn slash Thanksgiving collection. So I bought this on her website, which is kitnishgirl.net. Um, and then you can download it here. I did also buy some art on Etsy, so I bought this from Shop Nevermind and it's like a book cafe themed art. So I'll download these when I'm ready to work with them, but I'm working with this set first, so I'll download them and then flash forward to when I have designed some of the kit. I'll go into Photoshop and work on my full boxes. So I do actually have a template for all of my weekly kits. So this is my template and these colours are just what I happen to be using when I did make the last version of the template. Um, and then I've got some black parts where I know I need to fill in with um, papers and clip art and stuff. So I will design the full boxes first to kind of like get a feel for the kit. Um, and these are what I've gone for. So the clip art has autumnal elements but it also has some Thanksgiving like, oh, where's it gone? Like this big give thanks banner and a few other bits as well. So I am gonna do some separate boxes, but these are my autumn ones all done. So I'm gonna move on now to choosing colors. I tend to do this next. And I will normally just like eye drop a color from the artwork. Like I kind of like this blue, kind of a blue gray. So I'll take that and then I'll click into my colors and just like fill it in and then it will start to fill in the rest of the kit. So it's sort of quick and easy for me to do it this way using my template. So I normally pick my colors next and I'll spend a bit of time tweaking them, changing the order of them, because it sort of changes how the kit looks on the sheet, the order of the colors, I think it does make a difference. Um, and then I will go through, normally do my washi next, because that's kind of like the next, like most important part of a kit, I think, kind of sets the tone of the kit as well. And then I'll go and do the date covers and the boxes and stuff. So I'm going to go and do that. And then I will show you what happens when I've done the designing. So I've done the whole kit, apart from the clip art, which I'm going to do now. I always leave it till last because it's my least favourite part. But once I've done that, I'll show you what we do to make the colour lines. So then we go into Silhouette and I always open a previous collection just so that I can like copy the file over so that I don't have to make the template again. So I'm going to open the full boxes and deco sheets from last week's collection, which is Fright Night. And then in like the gray part of Silhouette where like there's no file, I'm going to drag in my file for the new kit. And then when I have it in my workspace, I'm gonna do the cut lines for the clip art first because that's the only part of the kit that changes. So I use the trace feature to just select the area where the clip art is. And then I just drag the threshold all the way up. And that's normally fine. I don't normally change anything else. Occasionally I'll change scale, but I'll do trace the outer edge and see how it looks. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna click on the outer edge and then go to the offset and do an offset of 0.6 mil is what I normally like to do. And then I'll see how it looks. Make sure none of them are touching because that's kind of the big thing. Like I don't want any of these stickers to be stuck together. Apart from these two because they're meant to be stuck together <laughs> but yeah that all looks good so i'm going to go apply then i can delete the first cut lines that we made and that looks good so i'm going to go through and just edit like a few things like this um little triangle i don't want to be cut out so i'm going to delete that and basically just like neaten them up but it looks pretty good to me so when i've done that i'm going to zoom back out and select the image and the cut lines and merge them or group them actually that's the word um, and then I can select this file, which is exactly the same size, so I can then align them to kind of drop it into place and make sure that all the cut lines are always going to be in the right place. And then if I send this to the back and delete the Fright Night image, there we have the cut lines for the new kit. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do for all of the sheets. So when I've done that, I'm gonna go over to the computer that I use with Silhouette and open that file. So there it is, the file I just made, and then I'm just gonna print them. So because I have seven Silhouettes, I tend to print in multiples of seven. So for this first run, I'm gonna do 28. 
these are the September freebies that I was printing earlier, but that's going to get to printing and then I can get to doing the rest of my kit. I'm sorry to be showing you my screen again, but I've literally been sat here all day. Um, I'm just ordering the postcards now. So I'm going for these as the new like order freebie. So this is the scene on the front and then I've gone for a mixture of the fashion girls on the back. So these will either be like given randomly or if you want to request one specifically, just let me know in the notes to seller. So I'm going to order those now. I've also done the newsletter. I do use Flowdesk to send my newsletters. I find it really like user friendly. I like it much better than MailChimp. So this is what my newsletter looked like. Oh, no, it's not. Can I not view it anymore? Right, I've just duplicated it so I can show it you. But put the new releases at the top. I then put a little bit about the new dividers and then I tease the mystery and a little bit about Instagram. So yeah, that was my newsletter. Now I'm going to, I have no idea. Hello vlog. I did not even officially begin the vlog, but uh, hi, we're probably like three minutes in by now. But hello, it is a new week. Um, it's bank holiday Monday, but I've done so much admin stuff. I feel like I'm really set up well for the next week, which is great because as we know, my last month has been a bit weird, but I feel really good. I think we're gonna smash September. Um, it's gonna be a good month. I'm speaking it into existence. <laughs> so looking at my Notion, which I have been following like really strict today because I just don't wanna fall behind. I can tick off that I've done the mystery journaling card, done the monthly postcards. Um, I've done an email that I had to do that I was kind of putting off. Um, you know when there's like just one task you really don't wanna do, but you would feel so much better if you just did it. Um, that was that email and I've done it and I feel so much better. So my options now are to either start cutting the new release, I can design the other new release this week or I can work on the mystery. So I think I'm going to finish designing today, I've got the book cafe artwork to use and then tomorrow I'll carry on my little segment on how I make the stickers. So they're printing right now and then when they're done printing I'll probably cut them all in one go because I like to just spend like a whole day doing cutting and then not cut for the rest of the week. So that's probably tomorrow's plan. Um, I also need to do restocks. I did a few last week but I've got a lot I need to do, especially seasonal things. There's a lot of kits I want to restock that if I don't do it now I've kind of missed the boat, like Halloween stuff. So I think that's the plan for the week. I can actually tell you a secret that I can't tell anyone until the 1st of September but I can tell the vlog because the vlog's not going to go up until after then but Planner Face is in the full PVC sale. We're in the Planner Boss Collective sale. I'm so excited. So that's what that email was about. I had to send off my shop spotlight and I was dreading doing it because I had to like take photos, edit them, answer questions. And I find that stuff really hard. Like it's kind of out of the ordinary. I'm not used to taking photos that aren't like my products. So taking photos of other stuff stresses me out. But yeah, we're in the PVC sale. I'm so excited. So the sale is the 17th to the 19th of September and of course there'll be new releases, there'll be freebies, there'll be like giveaways and stuff. So much stuff is happening on all the PPC social media, their Facebook group. Definitely join the Facebook group. There's a live show hosted by Tabitha of No White Space Stickers where they'll be doing so many giveaways, prizes to be won. Definitely head over there if you're not already part of the sale group. But yeah, I'm so excited that this is my second PPC sale. The first one was incredible. I think it was... 2018 that I was in the first one because it was the last sale before they took a break I think they were away for like a year but yeah I was in that full sale and now I'm in this full sale I feel like the full sale is the place to be <laughs> but yeah that is my little secret that's finally out of the bag oh my god but can't tell anyone else technically until the first which is Wednesday anyway I'm gonna go and design that kit and I'll show you how it turns out So I've just been sending some restocks to print. I have actually printed loads. So this is not gonna bode well when I have to cut them. Uh, that's just on one printer and then the other printer. But these will continue to print while I cut new releases. So this is the 
uh, crisp kit. These are the toolboxes that I've made to go with it. So I'm going to be cutting these later today. I have got my call in about an hour with Becca to do our like monthly catch up, see how we did on our goals that we set in the last call. So I don't want to get started on cutting now because I'm going to end up like getting into it and then having to stop. I've also got the food shop coming like right after. So I'm going to go and take some photos of the dividers and then I can talk a little bit more about them if I've got some proper photos to show with them. Um, I have got my prototype set in my reusable album that I do actually use. Um, I can't remember if we changed them. I don't think we've changed them from this set. Um, I'll have to double check. I'm fairly sure this is the finished design that we went with, but I've got the clear ones in mine. So I'm going to take a few albums with me and do some sort of staged product shots. And then if I get any time, I'll edit them and sort the listings out because I'm planning to release these the week that I'm away at the wedding. Uh, my friend Kelly from Elizabeth Plans, who I met through planning and we kind of like bonded over the fact that we both had sticker shots. Um, she's getting married next week and she invited me and Becca. So we are going to that, but I will be away, well like out of office from the Wednesday to the Friday. So I think me and Joanna are releasing the dividers at the weekend, but I will check with her and see what she says. But either way, I'm not really gonna be around to sort of get those listings ready. So if I can do that this week, that would be a big help. So I'm gonna go and do that and hopefully get some nice pictures. I finished cutting now and when I do my cutting I always keep one of each sheet aside so that when I go and take my photos I've already got like everything I need to photograph in one pile. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got all my add-on boxes, both collections and all the mini kits and stuff like that. I've also been cutting the September freebies so I went with this like witchy theme for September with the pink. And then the final thing to sort of complete the stickers ready for release will be to put all the extra boxes in the kits. Um, and then I can put them away and then they're basically ready to go for new release day. So it's basically half two, I'm going to edit my photos, do my listings and I'll check in with you when I've done it because this is the part that I will always procrastinate and it will take me hours but it doesn't need to so let's see when I get it done. So it is now about 20 to 5, I probably finished about maybe like 20 past uh, four. It took me quite a while to do the new listings because I feel like when you're not doing a project that you've already got, you can easily copy and paste it. With a new listing, it just takes longer because you have to write it from scratch and I also had some issues editing the photos. But anyway, we're doing it now. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, what I have been doing is testing the sizes for the dividers and this is my closest one that I'm the most happy with. Is it focusing? I think them being transparent makes it hard for the camera to focus but yeah this is my closest one I'm gonna make it slightly smaller um, and then I think that might be it done started off with this one as a complete guess so I am getting somewhere cool I think that one is absolutely perfect <laughs> 
think it's focusing. So yeah, this is the template I think I'm going to go with. It's quite hard to apply with this stick of paper. This is just like my normal um, like matte removable paper, but when I make them it will be the same material that I use for the album covers. So it should be a lot easier to apply. I will test them a little bit more before I make loads, but I think the next thing to do is to work on the designs. vlog it feels like a while since we had a catch up but yesterday i pretty much spent the whole day cutting was doing restocks new releases um that was it but just a lot of restocks um i've got more restocks printing now i'm trying to get ahead because obviously pvc is only in like two weeks three weeks two and a half weeks um but it's gonna creep up on me and before i know it it's gonna be here and i won't have anything restocked so i'm gonna try and like plow away at that for the next few weeks and just do a little bit like every week and hopefully it won't be too bad. As I said earlier I did get all my listings done for this week and most of next week I just need to do the tabs but I haven't designed them yet and right now I'm doing some orders. So I'm going to finish those now so I can drop them off tomorrow. I've also been printing and cutting premium matte which is cut to order so I do that every week when I get the orders for it. I think that's pretty much everything I've just been doing a lot of cutting um, but I'm going to go and do those orders. I've been working on the reusable album dividers and the little tab labels that I'm going to be selling to go with them. These are the ones that I've put together so I'm going to quickly run through them. Um, I just cut these sort of for me so they're a little bit messy. So first off I have some functional ones and I have taken the top one but that just says characters. So these would be great for like your leftovers if you've got like functional boxes, anything in multicolour, that sort of thing. 
Um, I've got, I'll show you those at the end actually. Um, got some seasonal ones. These obviously have your four seasons and then some holidays. We've got a foil one. So this has your four like standard foils. Um, it's got funnel foils, so the, you know, the colours that don't really fit into the standard four, like if you've got like red or green or anything else really basically. Um, and then I've also got, if you organise them, not in colours, but into sort of categories. I've got like overlays, icons, etc. And then I've done a shop owner one, just because I had some requests for sort of specific things that were more shop owner related and didn't really feel like they fit into another category. So you've got all your like sticker shop tasks, but this would also work for other kind of shops as well. And then I've got three sort of more generic ones. So I've just called them miscellaneous tabs. Um, and you've got your first one. I won't read them out, but you can pause it if you want to see what's on it. These are like the sort of typical categories that I see most often and were most requested. You've got your second sheet. So miscellaneous tabs two. And then miscellaneous tabs three. So these will all be available separately. Um, oh, and I do have a blank one so this doesn't have any text on but the labels are cut so if you wanted to write on your own in like sharpie you could do that and then you could just have your own handwriting as the tabs as well or you can leave them blank like i have been using mine without tabs for like months so you don't have to label them if you just want to sort of split your album up or use them more as like bookmarks than dividers i mean i've put 10 in this because someone asked me what's the most i think you should put in it and i think 10 is where it gets pretty chunky um my album's not full but it is mostly full um i haven't got things on both sides but i do have quite a lot of sheets like this so i would say 10 is kind of the comfortable maximum i do think you could add more like this is how the coil looks like there is a bit of room but i wouldn't go more than 10 i think because then you'll risk sort of the coil coming apart and these coils are quite pliable like you probably could push them back if you needed to and 10 is like the point where you can still sort of comfortably flip the pages i'm not having any issues with the pages getting caught but i do have the reusable album with the bigger coil if you got them from the very first release they have the smaller coils so i haven't got one on hand to actually test but i would probably say five for that one but it is pretty chunky so 10 kind of as a maximum but i would probably stick to fewer the dividers are a lot thinner than the album covers um i don't think i'll be able to show you like on video but i mean you can pretty much bend the dividers in half you can't bend the album covers they're a lot sturdier um if i can get a good picture i'll insert it to try and show the difference in thickness but we did want them to be a lot thinner so that they wouldn't create too much bulk but obviously they need to be sturdy enough that you can use them to flip through so this is kind of the happy medium that we settled on i forgot to mention this but i also filmed a little clip showing you how you put the dividers in the album and how you take them out to move them um so that is this me know down below if you have any questions if there's anything i haven't covered but they are releasing on friday the 10th of september um, they'll be releasing at my shop and at josephine bow designs so you can buy them from either of us and they'll be available in both the pink and the clear I'm going to be spending the rest of the weekend working on September Mystery and stocking more of these little labels. So I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what divider set you're going to pick up, if it's the pink or the clear, if you're going to get one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!